how big this ginger is. That's crazy. What's up, fam status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your ginger sprout the easy way. All you need to make your ginger sprout is some soil. And today, we're using peat moss, something to hold your soil. And we're using one of these disposable trays. It was only a dollar. And of course, ginger. Look how big this ginger is. crazy right so the first thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of our soil in our disposable tray and we're gonna put just enough so the ginger is not touching the bottom of this tray so we're gonna fill our disposable tray with about 25 percent of soil That should be enough. That's perfect. Just enough soil so our ginger is not touching the bottom of this tray. Now the next thing we have to do is break up our ginger root. You don't want to plant this whole ginger root just like this. I mean you can but you'll get more ginger plants if you break it up. Because you see these right here? Right there, right there, right there. These are where new ginger plants will come from. So you could take this and make maybe what? One, two, three, four, five, six ginger plants. So that's what we're gonna do now. So take this one. We'll make this one into one ginger plant. One right here. One right there. Another one. And let's see, I don't see any eyes. Well, I see one right there and one right there. We usually would break this up, but I'm gonna plant this whole piece. So now we have to do is we're gonna place our ginger root flat in the tray, just like this. And it's that simple. And you don't have to worry about which side to place your ginger root in your tray because the ginger plant is going to grow towards the sun anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we have one more. So, Check it out, you see that? It's that simple. Now all we have to do is cover these with soil. So when we cover these with soil, we're gonna make sure we don't bury them super deep. Now we have to do is water this and we're going to place it by a window that gets a lot of sun. You want to make sure when you water your ginger, you don't put a ton of water in here because we didn't put drainage holes at the bottom. And we didn't put drainage holes at the bottom for a reason because we're not going to need any because we're only going to water this one time until the soil completely dries out. And by the time this soil completely dries out, it'll be a lot of ginger sprouts everywhere in this tray. Watering your ginger too much is probably a mistake that everybody makes their first time growing ginger. So let's water our ginger sprouts. That's all the water we need. Now we're gonna place this by our window that gets a lot of light. So now we're gonna sit our ginger tray right here and be patient. And in 10 to 14 days, we should see ginger sprouts all over this tray. So it's only been 25 days since we planted our ginger. And check it out, fam. See that? Look at all of those ginger sprouts in only 25 days. 
it's that easy to grow your own ginger. All you need is something to plant it in. We use the disposable container that only costs one dollar. Soil, you can use peat moss, cocoa, or regular soil. Plant your ginger, sit it by the windowsill, and this is what you'll have in 25 days. Three tips you need to remember for making your ginger sprout. Number one, make sure your ginger has eyes. These are eyes and a new ginger plant will come from each one of these. Number two, make sure the ginger you plant is not moldy. See that white mold? Don't plant it. See it right there? Right there. Just toss it. So if you see any white fuzzy looking stuff on your ginger, don't plant it. And number three, don't overwater your ginger. This is super important because ginger plants hate super wet soil. This is the number one reason a lot of people fail at growing ginger. I only watered these one time in 25 days. And check it out. So, since our soil is looking dry, we'll water our ginger today because this is exactly what you want your soil to look like before you water your ginger. You don't want your soil to be super, super, super wet. And you need to remember this when you plant your ginger outside. The same thing applies. Ginger hates super wet soil. It'll either grow super slow or it won't grow at all and it'll start molding out. If you remember these three tips, we'll be harvesting ginger together in October. Trust me.